Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit um, more along the lines for hardcore Little Peep fans because they might have a little bit more interest in this topic. So in 2017, Peep was really um, just promoting Come Over When You're Sober. Um, he did a lot of touring for this album. Uh, Peep was booked for 74 dates in total um, for this tour. And believe it or not, even with his untimely passing, uh, Peep did fulfill his touring obligations. Um, out of all these dates, the only date Peep missed um, due to his passing was a gig at a venue called The Rock in Arizona. But other than that, Peep um, pretty much showed up at every date. He did a lot of touring, a lot of extensive um, promoting for this project. Um, I think the next uh, touring schedule Peep was going to be booked on, I think First Access was really trying to get Peep into the festival realm. So I think Peep really wanted to explore performing at festivals. So I'm pretty sure that his next touring schedule would have been a lot of festival dates. We have to keep in mind that Peep had incredible merch. Um, he had fantastic looking merchandise. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind his merch would have sold through the roof at festival shows. Um, just imagine the residuals alone he would have made off that. Um, plus, when you're doing festivals, you get to display your craft in front of a larger audience, obviously. And I think Peep was a very mature musician at this point, so he was ready to do all the real things. Um, I think he was done. I know he liked doing small clubs because it gave him a chance to have his art and really just be in a um, more intimate setting with his audience. But I believe Peep was turning into a major player in the game, so I think he would have been doing much, much larger venues um, for the next tour. But the reason why I'm making today's video is because it's a pretty interesting subject um, involving the Suicide Boys. Now, for the guys that have been following Peep um, throughout his whole career, you would know that their paths crossed in 2016 while Peep was on tour with Fat Nick. Um, they would meet each other at a few shows, and there's a couple pieces of film where you can see the Suicide Boys on stage while Pete performs. But actually, later on down the road, they would cross paths again, and this time it's just a lot more interesting to me. So even though Pete had those 74 dates in 2017, um, he actually had a three-month break during the Come Over When You're Sober uh, touring program. So for June, July, and August, Pete pretty much had three months to do whatever he wanted. He had a three-month break to literally just sit in London and really just decompress and take a break from music. Now, who knows if Peep actually, uh, how much music he might have recorded in these three months. Um, sometimes when you're a full-time musician, when you get a break, that's what you want, a break. You don't want to um, make any music. When you're a full-time musician and you eat, sleep, and breathe music, when you get a break, that's what you want. You don't want to have anything to do with music when you're off. Um, we have to remember, music was Peep's job at this point. He was a full-time performer and musician and songwriter. Um, so when you guys are at work and you get a break, the last thing you know you want to do is think about work or fuck around with work while you're at home. But then again, Peep was a real artist, so I'm sure that he was completely enthralled in making music. I think he was just um, completely in love with the process of making music. Um, a lot of real artists are just obsessed with music. Uh, we do know Copenhagen spawned out of that three-month period while Peep was off. But well, who knows how much music he really recorded in that London apartment. So Peep spent these three months in London at his apartment with, that he had with Bexy and his uh, personal videographer. Um, if you guys want, I'll put a link in the description box. You can actually uh, see the apartment I'm referencing in this video. Um, Bexy did a really cool video um, on his IG where he just lets you see the apartment in London that Peep was living at. I mean, he shows you the furniture, he shows you his clothes, he just shows you the whole place. It's a really beautiful video, even though it has a really sad, emotional theme because it was shortly after Pete passed. But overall, it's just really cool. It gives you a crystal clear window into Peep's personal life. So anyways, while he was on this break from tour and just sitting on his ass for three months, um, on June 17th, the Suicide Boys ended up headlining a gig at the Electric Ballroom in Camden, London. Now, uh, Little Peep would actually surprise fans this night by coming out and opening up for them and playing Beamer Boy. Um, the Suicide Boys asked the crowd if they would like to see Little Peep, and then the entire crowd just went crazy, and Little Peep comes running out on stage and goes right into Beamer Boy. It's really a beautiful moment, and it really just um, equated a really cool piece of film. Um, but when I saw this, I was very interested in how this ended up um, happening and being set up. 
So while Pete was on break for three months in London, uh, the Suicide Boys were actually booked and they were playing that night. So uh, I have a feeling their management probably contacted Peep's management and asked them if uh, Suicide Boys are playing in London, asked Peep if he wants to come out and open up for him. And I'm sure Peep would have ran out the door in a heartbeat because he really liked those guys. He had a lot of respect for them. Um, I know he had a lot of respect for the Sesh Hollow Water Boys as well, so um, I can only imagine if they ever offered Peep a slot to play at one of their shows, he would have um, really ran out the door for that one too. So I just want to make a quick uh, video about it because I don't know if a lot of fans know the details. Um, I'm really curious to know how it was set up, but either way, it's just really cool um, with the Suicide Boys asking the crowd if they want to see Little Peep, and Little Peep comes running out with Bexy. Um, to me, uh, there's another important aspect to all this as well. It was really fascinating to see a mature Suicide Boys audience really embrace Peep and really take to his music because the earlier version of Little Peep's music would have been more in the Suicide Boys realm. But towards the end of Peep's career, his music um, had developed so much. Um, it was really a different kind of musical taste. They were really two different audiences at that point. So to see a Suicide Boys audience really embrace Peep at that moment, it was just really cool. It really just showed you the diversity in Peep's art and how um, no matter what genre um, fan you are, they were still as much as embraceive as the fans are in Peep's genre. So it was really cool to see him and to see the crowd really um, take to him very well. But I just wanted to make a quick video about it. Um, I'm also curious to know what you guys think about that three-month break. Do you think that Peep made a shitload of music in those three months because he did have a studio set up in that apartment in London? Or do you think he only made coke nails and that was it? Um, we can only speculate, but I'm, I'm sure Peep probably made a lot of songs in that time period, so it'd be interesting to see um, how much music Bexy really has or knows about in that time period. So... Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. I just want to shed a little light on the night that Peep opened up for the Suicide Boys in the Camden Ballroom. Do you guys want to hear a song from Go Peep? Yeah! 